Then I tripped over the power cord and spilled my smoothie all over his suit and laptop. I'm definitely fired. I feel so powerless, you know? Just like one bad thing after the other. All right, bye. Everything sucks. Hey, who the hell are you? I'm a better version of you from a parallel universe, and I'm here to teach you that you're special and unique through the power of quantum physics. Look, I know this is overwhelming, but I'm here to explain that you're actually doing really well in the grand scheme of the multiverse. First, imagine the behavior of an atom. You mean like Adam Stevens from church camp? More like an atom, a key building block of our planet. This ping pong ball exists according to classical mechanics. It is right here in my hand. It can only be in one place at one time, right? Sure. But subatomic particles, like photons and electrons, exist in a realm of possibility before they are observed. This existence across every state at the same time is called a superposition. That sounds like a sex move. Also, this isn't making me feel better. Right. Hmm. So let's say we put your cat into a box. Okay. But I also drop in a device that could randomly release poison and kill the cat. Why would you do that? This is the thought experiment designed by Erwin Schrodinger in 1935. His reasoning was this. The cat inside the box was not alive or dead, but alive and dead because both outcomes were possible, but neither was known. Two things true at the same time? Just like the superposition? Right, exactly like that. Good listening. But by opening the box, we find that your cat is alive, the superposition collapses, and it is now a single outcome. What happens to the other possibilities? Do they just disappear? That's one explanation of it. The idea that the superposition collapses when observed is called the Copenhagen interpretation. Huh. I always wanted to study abroad in Copenhagen. I did my junior year there, changed my life. What did you end up doing instead? I got kicked out of marching band for body slamming the mascot. Speaking of slams, in 1957, Hugh Everett called the Copenhagen interpretation a philosophic monstrosity. He thought things like quantum particles and Schrodinger's cat continued to exist in ever-changing superpositions without ever collapsing to a single reality. This way, whenever someone makes a decision or observes a quantum particle, the universe splits, like an amoeba. So there's a version of me that didn't spill smoothie on my boss? You ever would say there are lots of different jennies. Spiders, spiders, spiders. spiders. Spider. Oh, that's spiders. the one where giant spiders, spiders. run the planet. There are infinite possibilities according to the many worlds theory. Everything you could have done or not done exists in a universe for itself. Kind of like a giant tree with many branches. Whoa, that's pretty awesome. What was the decision that created the spider planet? You don't want to know. So I'm just one of an infinite amount of Jennies? Well, yes but you're the only Jenny that decided to order a different smoothie than usual and spilled it on your boss because the lid didn't fit right. Every day, you get to make decisions that separate you from the infinite amounts of yous that could be or might be in the multiverse. You get to decide. Pretty interesting, right? Yeah, it actually is. So how can I drop? <laughs>